Muy buenas, ¿qué tal? ¿Cuánto tiempo sin ponerme delante de una cámara? Madre mía, yo creo que ya esto ni sé cómo se hace. Estoy de vuelta, sí, estoy de vuelta. Creo que es la segunda vez que subo un vídeo con mi cara a este canal, desde el primero que subí en ese blog de Animal Sound en 2015, con mis 18 añitos recién cumplidos, madre mía. Y ahora voy a cumplir 22, menudo que gestorio, ¿no? Sí, estoy de vuelta, eh, aunque yo ya subía algunos vídeos con mi cara y subía más vídeos en mi anterior canal, pero bueno, eso ya eso es otra historia, es historia antigua. He decidido volver a la actividad con este canal porque, bueno, mmm, tras bastante tiempo de inactividad me veía falto de ideas, falto de tiempo, falto de medios y de ganas, vamos, un despropósito total. Estuve pensando en bastantes ideas que podía traer al canal que a mí me supusieran un, un esfuerzo, que a mí me dieran ganas de, de idear nuevos proyectos, nuevos vídeos y cosas nuevas. Y yo creo que ya es el momento, yo creo que, que ya ha llegado el momento adecuado de, de saltar a, a ese retorno, a empezar otra vez a, a hacer vídeos nuevos, a traer cositas nuevas, tanto en formato de producciones, de temas míos nuevos, como sabéis, soy productor, tengo varios temas subidos a este canal y a mis redes de SoundCloud, por ejemplo. Y ya no solo eso, sino también sesiones vídeos de este estilo y demás conforme me vayan surgiendo y yo creo que la mejor forma de, de volver a eso es con una entrevista a una de las personas que más está pegando en la escena EDM actual esa persona como habéis leído en el título es Maurice West un chaval de 22 años de Holanda como no Holanda es la cuna de la producción y de la mezcla de la electrónica mundial y es un chaval que, bueno, ahora mismo está tiene su contrato firmado en Rave Culture, el sello de WW, que la verdad es que el chaval es un prodigio, es una joya. Y tuvimos la suerte de, de compartir tiempo con él en el reciente festival Animal Sound, que tuvo lugar el fin de semana del 14 al 15 de junio, era su sexta edición y la verdad que fue la mejor de todas. También aprovecho para decir que tenéis mi crónica sobre ese festival en la descripción de este vídeo, y bueno, antes que nada, antes que pasar a, al meollo del asunto, quiero dar las gracias a All Music Spain. Es una web de noticias de electrónica, bueno, ya no solo noticias, de lanzamientos, de reviews, opiniones y demás, en la que yo figuro parte de la plantilla como redactor, además de todos mis compañeros. Y si no fuera por ellos, yo no habría podido traer esta entrevista. Y sin duda, agradecer a la organización de Animal Sound por cederme esta oportunidad. Y bueno, nada más. Traeré más vídeos tan pronto como pueda, eh, explicando un poquito mejor qué es lo que tengo en mente. Y también os digo que tengo otra entrevista preparada que traeré de, de traeros muy, muy pronto. Así que sin más dilación, os dejo con la chicha del vídeo y os agradezco de nuevo que estéis aquí conmigo en este, en este retorno a la actividad. Muchas gracias y nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. ¡Hasta la próxima! Well, I started producing when I was about, I think, 12. And I started out in this program called uh, Garage Band, which is like on every Mac computer. Uh, because I was always like playing the piano and like playing the drums, the guitar. And then at some point I um, really got into Skrillex's music because I was like playing Call of Duty always with my friends. And then always on the, you know, on the videos they had like Skrillex's oh, music. Like yeah, and then, um, And then I really wanted to make dubstep, so um, I just tried making songs in GarageBand always, and then I switched to Ableton because I know that I knew that Skrillex was using Ableton. And then I just tried recreating songs, and then eventually I made my own songs and got influenced a little bit by Alesso and by WW, by Hardball, by Big Room, uh, that kind of that kind of sound. And then um, and then I made my first song called Formula, got released on Spinning Records, and that's the rest is history, I guess. Well, I think it's um, it's really nice that, that there's like a large group of people that listen to my music and that um, appreciate my music. Um, and to me, it's still like still to this day, it's pretty like surreal, you know, because I'm just that guy that used to make music in his bedroom and just um, I made songs for me, you know, and now I'm making songs for a lot of people online that get to listen to it. And a lot of people, of course, at the festivals, at the clubs and at the show that get to go crazy to the songs. So um, to me, it's like a, like a real blessing that I, that I get to do what I do. And uh, I really appreciate everyone that listens to my music and supports my music. Well, I... Uh, At the time, I think 
I released a couple of songs on Armada. And then I was already like uh, DMing on Twitter with uh, with W and W, and I sent all these songs, and they and they just kept on saying like we want to release this one, we want to release this one, and then I did a couple of releases, and we just kept on going from there. So like the logical thing to do was to um, to like be an artist on main stage music, and and mostly release my songs there. Well, the guys definitely helped me a lot. Like they helped me, uh, they guided my way through the through the whole industry. They told me what to do and what not to do, and um, so they helped me a lot, like mentally, and they also helped me a lot musically because they they showed me like that it's really important to have your own direction in music and that you have to choose your own path and do your own thing. Um, so that's something I'm really grateful for. I think it will be really interesting to see how guys like Porter Robinson work or guys like Knife Party, Madion, uh, because to me those are just like studio wizards, you know, or guys like Axwell. Um, but also like a really weird combination would be Stevie Wonder to like make a song with him and see what like my sound and his musical, his Good music, mixture. yeah, yeah, that, that, would, that would be really crazy. But um, yeah, that's like kind of the names that, that I would go for. Well, I just did a remix for uh, Armin van Buren, um, which I just finished, uh, actually yesterday, <laughs> and I just played it and uh, it went really well. So um, I think that's the first thing that I'm releasing um, right now. And then afterwards, I'm just working on a lot of uh, solo releases. So probably first gonna be the remix and then afterwards a lot of just solo Maurice West stuff. So. Well, a really important thing for like the bootlegs that I do is that um, you have to be able to release or like put the actual song online without getting in any, into any trouble, you know? Because like there, there, I've heard about a lot of lawsuits and a lot of you know trouble that you don't want to get into. And um, so like last year, I did the, the the bootleg thing and I gave away a couple of bootlegs that that people wanted to. Uh, to, to have like for themselves but I still have like so many tracks or so many remixes that I did that I only play in my sets and like for example I did a remix of Happier by Marshmallow yeah. and that one is just something that I could actually release right now but I think it's just too late you know yeah because like it's there's other tracks right now from the moment that you think it's too late it's to still release. it still works really well for yeah. me live but the the actual song is like it's kind of lost its relevance online, I think. So um, that's why I chose to just keep it for my sets and for the people that come to the shows, they get to hear it and enjoy it. And like, I do that with a lot of songs and mashups and edits. Um, well, that's like, um, like a short sum up I could do. It's like, be, uh, be unique, be yourself go with what feels right uh, try to stand out from from the other other producers around you or in your genre try to do something that really defines you and really like uh, bring something new to the table and then um, that has to go hand in hand with like a good team around you a good group of people that you trust and that you that you feel feel good with that can like that you can always fall back on when it comes to like contracts and and like legal stuff and you just the thing the thing is you want to be able to focus on music and have other people to take care of like the the boring the boring stuff you know yeah yeah so that's basically it and um um don't forget to work your ass off. <laughs> that's, that's, that's basically, the that's the most important thing. thing. What's up, all music Spain? My name is Maurice West. Uh, hope to see you guys soon.